Greetings, dear ones. I am M. <laughs> oh, we were just deciding who was coming in first. That's all it was. <laughs> Greetings, everyone. I am so thrilled to be with you here today. I've, I, there are so many things that are starting to open here on earth that we'll share a lot of them with you here. They've actually been brought up many times on this stage earlier today even. So we will t- share with you a little bit about the next step toward humanity, because it is coming at the speed of love, which is slightly faster than the speed of light. Even Einstein didn't know that. But we tell you there is so much going on because of your movement. Your own elevation, your own ability to run the energy completely through your body without having to feel the negative effects. You have done an incredible job of this up to this point, mostly by ignoring it sometimes. Oh, yes, humans can look the other way quite well. But also from the fact that you have put things in order. Actually very interesting. What I wish to share with you today, and the timekeeper may come in or he may help speak through me a bit because this is really his area, but you have a new relationship to time that we ha- he has been speaking of for some time, but it is much, much larger than just your looking at your watch or planning your time out according to what you call time. We see time in multiple dimensions. There are actually 12 dimensions of time that you are unaware of. You actually deal with two dimensions of time. We will get back to this a little later, go into depth with it a little further, but please understand you are only seeing a small portion of reality. And having to do, well, it's really simple. If you open up all the channels and let all 12 dimensions of time be experienced at the same time, you would literally be totally confused. So what has happened is we've opened the door with one dimension of time originally. And it took you (laughs) millions of years to get accustomed to that one. Now we have released a second. It has just happened. Now you are wrestling with it because you still hang on to the old one which you think is your watch, which we call your expression of linear time. Well, time is not linear. You measure it that way, you see it that way, but it is in 12 dimensions, not even the five that you are accustomed to. So what happens here is that all of humanity experiences the collective level in in which you live. You are leading the way many times vibrationally, and you know that there are many other levels. Please do not think that one is better than the other, but there are many levels that are represented here, having to do with, let's just call it vibrational, vibrational stature. And with all of those levels in place, doors open, because each one of those levels can see something a little bit different than what you have been perceiving. And now that there is a new dimension of time on earth, you can start to open this door and feel it. Now, the collective vibration has clearly stepped into the fifth dimension, which simply means that all of you are connected to five of the 11 of you. Yes, you are also divided into 12s. There are the 12 of them, the singular being the higher self in the center and 11 different rays of who you are. We've spoken of this many times. But we wish to take this a step further today because it's not just you. It's all of earth. And what is happening now is everyone has anchored in this new level since going through the portal of the 12-12-12. You are starting to anchor in a new way. Oh, yes, it completely pulled the rug of your security out from under you when you were moving through it. All of you thought you were going home and everything was going to be real easy and suddenly you couldn't find anything that you were looking for. Well, now you've started to re-anchor in this new energy. The sun is completing its flip before long and allowing a new start to almost a new day. That is the excitement that we ask you all to welcome into your world and to embrace it every moment. But you understand that you see things as past, present, and future in a linear timeline. We see it all together as once as a being. 
So while many people are trying, many people are doing, we are simply being. Because all of it toge is together as one. And that is one of the secrets that all of you can start doing at this moment. It is a very simple shift. And all it simply means is that you take the now moment and completely let it flourish through you. For in just a moment, that will be gone forever. You only have right now to feel this energy. If you feel it now, you can move to the next one. Will it be coming later? Yes, but not the same. Every level is different. And that is the beautiful part of it. Now, what we wish to tell you here is something rather interesting. Because you are one eleventh, perhaps one twelfth, of all of your beings. And even though you have connected to five of the individuals and, and have actually a sharing of your energy with five of those, that means that the whole collective of the planet is now in the fifth dimension and having those attributes rather than those of the third. But it's not just happening to humans. It's also happening, quite jokingly, to the bees. The bees that you have mentioned on your planet, particularly the honeybees, are multidimensional in nature. Now, there are two things that we wish to bring up here because it is not just the honeybees we are talking about, but since it happened here and that was brought up this day, we will bring that to you and use that as the illustration. You have raised the collective vibration of humanity and as such you have a higher view in which to see everything. Have you noticed that there are no more secrets on earth? <laughs> you are all getting accustomed to this transparency which now exists. It is actually beautiful because it takes you down to the heart of who you are instead of what you are trying to pretend to be. It actually brings you to the essence of who you are. But there are quite a few adjustments that must take place on earth because you are used to holding secrets. And they are all going away slowly in small increments. There are less on this earth today than there were before. Now please do not think that you will ever go through a lifetime without telling a lie or holding a secret. It is not humanly possible because you must hold a little bit of imperfection in order for you to even be on earth. So do not judge yourself if you have your own secrets or your own things that you have hidden from others there. Yeah? Just simply know that over time, everything is being revealed. Now with that, you have capabilities of multidimensional shifting. And this is what we wish to bring up today. What would happen to you if you were talking to one of your friends and you were shaking their hands and suddenly they disappeared? You would really be what the keeper calls freaked out, I believe. <laughs> well, that would be very challenging for you because it would not fit into your understanding of the world or the understanding of physics. So it would be very much out of the ordinary, but from our perspective, it would simply mean that a person shifted their vibration just enough sideways instead of up or down, as you are so accustomed to using, and that little shift of energy sideways lets you enter another dimension. There will be a time where you can leave this dimension, go into another dimension for a short time and come back. This is all brand new. This literally has not happened in any multidimensional. Yes, of course, there have been the masters that have walked on your planet understanding the deeper secrets, and have been able to do these things which you sometimes call miracles. Oh, we think that's amazing. <laughs> but, well, in, from our perspective, it's a simple shift. It's not been available to humans because of your vibrational level. Now all of that has changed. You have changed your game. What a beautiful day it is. You've literally written new rules, you've thrown out the old ones, and you said, let's play a new game. It's time. Well, most of you said it at least. Some of you others are still kicking and screaming. We know the keeper does not like to give things up. Everything he's given up has deep scratch marks all over it. <laughs> well, that is just the way it is. But nonetheless, you are all in this space. Now, what happens when you raise the vibrations? Let's just take it from another aspect 
of what you call insects, and call, but just take the bees in particular. What happens when all of humanity raises the vibration of Earth? What takes place with the bees? Are they raising their vibration? How about your animals? How about all of your power connections? How about your totem animals, as was mentioned before? What happens to them? Well, they also become multidimensional in nature. And this is what is happening. They also become much more sensitive, as are you. Most of you can see very deeply now into the heart of other people. And even a few months ago, it was more difficult for all of you. This is a collective movement of all of humanity, not just of those of you who call yourselves light workers. This is everyone on planet Earth. And quite honestly, it has really put a, what you call a monkey wrench in things. We're trying on new words. Does that work? <laughs> <laughs> Well, we've never been to Earth, so we have to do whatever's in his brain, and his brain is really confusing, so don't go there. <laughs> it's kind of like a bad neighborhood. Do not go in there alone. <laughs> don't do it. But we're quite accustomed to who he is and what he's got there, so we use what we can, but we've never been to Earth, so we're still trying on some of these that we don't know how to be. How's that? <laughs> so here, here you are, and with your sensitivities, have you noticed that almost all of you are more sensitive to pollutants than you were just a short time ago? Have you noticed that your allergies are starting to shift, especially here in this place where there are a lot of allergies and so forth? You will find a lot of things changing with your relationship to your surroundings. And that has to do with your new vibrational level which you have reached. Congratulations. Now we will try to make you a little comfortable up here. But what happens to those who are super sensitive? And suddenly they are being barraged with all of these pollutants, all of these things which most humans can tolerate with no problem, can simply breathe through it and get to a fresh air pot at one point, no problem. But now all of a sudden these highly sensitive beings are having difficulty existing on your earth partly because of the way that you treat your earth. And awareness is the key here. You are creator beings. You can change this at any moment. All it takes is a personal commitment from each one of you. You are the creator beings that walk on earth. You decide what is going to happen here. Did you know that? Well, your actions have basically brought to a certain level of what you will call pollution on earth. It is actually more than what you call pollution because you call pollution little particles floating in your air. We can actually show you how energy can be polluted. And that has happened. You will all learn to clean it up because now you can see it. You couldn't see it before. You simply tolerated it as a normal, normal advent. Many of you went into deep allergies. You went into a crisis with your own physical body, not knowing that this was the reaction that you were having. And some of you found answers that allowed you to tolerate the, the different parts of it. But really, what happens on a super high vibrational being, in the near future, they will be able to step out of one dimension for just a moment and come back when they can tolerate it. That is what we mean by someone who disappears while you are shaking their hand. And that is also what is happening with the bees. Please understand that the bees are your part of your cycle. Einstein was not quite correct when he predicted three years. We do not make, think you will make it two. <laughs> if the bees leave completely, they will, the earth will end in the cycle that it's in. It does not mean that you will be damaged. You understand that, don't you? You are all spirits pretending to be human. You're safe on the spiritual level always. You will be brought home. You will probably find another assignment if that is the case. But in the meantime, you and the bees can start to work together in a whole new way. A whole new energy that you can make safe here. Well, let us say, share how this works. You have an energy field around you. Most of you think it is about three feet around you. It's actually much larger than that. But the first level of it is roughly about three feet around you. 
Well, knowing that you emanate vibrational patterns everywhere, we're going to ask you to start clearing your energy. Not just your energy within your field, but take responsibility for what you see in front of you. It may be something as simple as going and picking up a piece of paper off the street. It may be as simple as learning not to use pesticides in the way that you have before. It may be as simple as learning how to be in harmony with your own energy. What that happens is the opportunity for those multidimensional beings who have stepped out to come back in and breathe again. And the key will be if you see the bees. Very simple. Well, they are the ones at this moment who are shifting the most. Humans have done it. Very few humans are at that level, but it's only a matter of time now, isn't it? You are in motion very rapidly at this point. You have entered the new world and you are creating it and anchoring it in the most beautiful ways. So we would like to teach you just to be. <laughs> that is the essence of it. And this has been spoken of many times before because this is how you clear your energy. What is the energy that's there? Well, the energy is because you have your projections. What is happening tomorrow? Oh, what about these people over here? And oh, the favorite one that was also mentioned today. What about my taxes? Oh, that's a good one for everybody. <laughs> what about paying my taxes? Well, really, really now, look at what you are doing. You are projecting things into your future and creating problems in your future before you even get there. You will start to understand how you can do the opposite very clearly and suddenly a bee will fly by. It literally will come out of nowhere into your dimension and hopefully many of them will start returning. We tell you for the next few years this is going to be challenging for that species of beings. They literally will float in. When they need protection, they will disappear for a time. It will be very scary at a couple of points on Earth. But know that they exist over here and that they can come back when we make it safe for them at any moment. They're a huge part of your life cycle. They are actually the most beautiful reflection of you. And they love the fact that you eat the honey. They think that is the most amazing thing because in that way, they can become part of you. And it is so beautiful to do it because it's exactly the opposite of what you do with the cows, isn't it? You actually eat their bodies instead of just their byproducts sometimes. So it's totally different, and the reality is you can work in harmony in a new way. What is it going to mean? Does it mean you're going to have to learn to be with bees? No, of course not. These are simply one of the many aspects of multidimensionality which are starting to show up on Earth right now. The other aspect, which we have spoken of before, seems to be getting more intense. So we will simply remind you of it. And that is that the walls between the dimensional levels are thinning. What is taking place is very simple. The emotional energies go through the wall first. Oh, sure, you would like to get ideas, you would like to get thought patterns from some other parts of you that contain the perfection that you are missing. Because in everything, all together, you are perfect. But perfect people cannot exist on planet Earth. It does not work. So you must divide your perfection in all 11 dimensions, and that's what you've done. But that also means that what you think you are missing, some other part of you holds. And all that needs to happen is for those to happen. So why are you feeling all these negative energies instead of getting the answers to your problems like you would hope to do? It is only the beginning course. There is a wall right there. That wall is made of, of cinder block and cement. Now, if you were to take any waveform and send it through that wall, we'll simply tell you that a very long, deep waveform will go through the wall, whereas a very short, high-pitched waveform will be blocked by the wall. The same is true with your emotions through the individual areas. Because of having these walls thin, the long wave <laughs> negative emotions tend to come through first. 
Please do not think that this is all negative. It is only the very beginning of your being able to sense anything coming through these walls. But if suddenly you are see, feeling sad or feeling that or feeling the worst thing that can happen to a creator being self-doubt, that starts a negative cycle, which is unbelievable from our perspective. We look at you on earth and we say, why are they doing that? We cannot figure it out, and yet you continue. It's part of the cycle that you get into. So we're asking you to become aware. Look at yourselves. Look at your thought patterns. Look at what you consciously create for yourselves on all these levels. And when you feel these occasional negative energies coming through the side walls, which you can't always identify, we ask you to celebrate, saying, I'm hearing something for the first time. Yes, it's a little negative, but the good stuff will come later. Understand where you are. And sometimes you take things so seriously. Oh, there's a negative energy coming through the wall. That means that my life is about to take a negative turn. That means that all this negative stuff is... It doesn't mean anything. Sometimes a cup of coffee is simply a cup of coffee. Sometimes you have to throw everything out of your belief systems in order to make room for the truth. Welcome home, dear ones. You're doing much better than you thought. Now you are starting to balance your energies in so many ways, and the wisdom of the ages is starting to come through all of you. There are several channels on the stage here today, but all of you carry that. Every one of you gets inspiration from some place that you are not familiar with. You get an idea and you say, oh, I have an idea. I'm going to go patent that idea and call it my own. When in fact, it's been uh, circling around humanity for a very long time. You were just the one that caught it that day. <laughs> well, you're all part of each other. Celebrate that and just be. That is the essence for all of you this day. Take a moment. Celebrate the bees, even if you don't like honey. <laughs> celebrate who they are. They are a life form supporting yours. They are part of you in every way. Pay slightest attention to cleaning up your energy and the bees will return to this dimension to see you through. It is with the greatest of honor. We ask all of you to treat each other with respect in this new world. Know that you are higher beings than you ever have been. And we celebrate you from home. We ask you to celebrate each other. A spavo, dear ones. A spavo. Mm. <laughs> I thought you might need that. <laughs> and that. <laughs> What a grand day, hasn't it been? Oh, and that message is just what I needed to hear. Everything that was said today is so important. So we should, I can't get my microphone going here. <laughs> Take a so break. We should, we should call it the 